see, we're still here. And we've got a third lot so far. So, like I've enough now, I've done the salad beds and the fruit beds. And what I'm going to do now is show you around the plot and give it to Chris. Right, this is the salad bed that I've done today. It's been had some compost put in and all the weeds have been taken out. It's not looking too bad at all. And now I should go over to the fruit and that's been cleared. So we've got lots of strawberries, some black currants, I think, and some raspberries in there. So hopefully they'll be better this year because last year they weren't so good. Now we'll just go and say hello to Chris and see what he's up to, see how far and how knackered he is. Chris, how are you? I'm alright, thank you very much. And as you can see, I've done half the plot, nearly up to there, ready for spud planting. The wee killer did help, it has to be said. And my new slim look means that I can do it without getting cream crackered, sweaty and looking rather horrible like I did on the last two videos for the past two years that I looked back on the other day. So uh, look at Deb's blog for the do can do it diet because that's how we did it and we'll be back with some spud planting because we're doing it our way this year rather than the, the uh, traditional way that every book says to do it just because we haven't got enough time to do it the way the book says it so if you're pushed for time and you've got some growing going on tune in bye